Excuse me, are you Mrs. O'Shea? Yes, my name is Nancy Drew and... Stephen, put that down this instant. We do not run with sticks in our hands or in our mouths. I'm sorry, you were saying? Miss Joukowsky asked me to pick up some raffle tickets from you. Oh yes, the raffle tickets. The fact of the matter is I... Elsie, no hitting. I can't even think about those raffle tickets right now. I promised the children they'd each get a toy for going a full week without breaking anything. And I'm short five toys. Do not eat that, Clarence. Would you like me to get five toys for you? Oh, goodness, if you could do that, I'd be forever grateful. They can be any kind of toy at all. The children aren't the least bit picky. Of course it tastes bad, Clarence. It's a pine cone. I better go rinse out his mouth before. Oh, would you look at that? He's actually chewing it. You're not a squirrel, Clarence. Spit that out this instant. Maybe I could buy some toys for the orphans in here. Well, that's one toy. Two toys down, three to go. That makes three toys. Toys. I just need one, a vending machine that just sells toys. I'm keen. I can't get the toy without putting in money first. Five toys, that's all I need. I've only got half a tank of gas left. I should get... Hi, do you have five toys for me? I certainly do. Oh, that's wonderful. You're such a saint, you hear me? A saint. I'd better get these inside before the children see them. Thank you so much. Uh, Mrs. O'Shea, the raffle tickets? Oh, the raffle tickets? I don't have them, dear. You'll have to pick them up from Phelps Print Shop. Then just take them straight to Mr. Kowski. We don't pull hair, Ralphie. Especially when we have jelly on our hands. <sighs> Phelps Print Shop. Wonderful. Sorry, young lady. I'm about to close. I'm just here to pick up the raffle tickets you printed for Mrs. O'Shea. Aw, oh, darn it. I did tell her I'd have those done today, didn't I? Well, I'm sorry, but they're just gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, but I need to have them today. And I need to go fishing. Fishing? My brother-in-law thinks he's hot stuff because he caught an 18-inch largemouth bass this morning. So I bet him I could catch a 19-incher by the end of the day. And if I do, I get his stamp collection. And if I don't, he gets mine. And since stamp collecting is about the only hobby I can afford these days, I'm going fishing. I know. You stay here and print those raffle tickets, and I'll go fishing for you. Not everybody can catch a 19-inch largemouth bass, you know. It takes skill and muscle and brains. Bass are pretty smart. I can do it, Mr. Phelps. You better be right, because you're not getting those raffle tickets until I get my 19-incher can use my gear. I left everything out at the fishing hole. Great. I'll see you later. First thing I need to do is bait my hook. Yuck. 
Now I toss this in the water. And when the bobber goes under the water, I need to pull the line up fast. I got a fish! Looks like 19 inches to me. Ew, that fish I caught really smells. Let's see what you got in there. How about that? You did it. Here, let me take it from you. <laughs> Please do. I think it's starting to get a little ripe. Just rest yourself a minute while I get those raffle tickets. There you go. Ten dozen tickets to the annual orphan's benefit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make a telephone call. To your brother-in-law? Yeah, the one who used to collect stamps. <laughs> Bye. Hi, you got those raffle tickets for me? I sure do. Great. And here are Mrs. Sheldon's bridge cards. One of the gals spilled Moxie all over them, but I cleaned them up real good, so let's not tell Mrs. Sheldon, okay? Okay. Thanks for your help, Miss Joukowsky. Thanks for your help. Bye now. Something I can do for you? Well, my name's Nancy Drew, and my father Say said Say no that... more. You're here to pick up some papers. They're in that envelope. Thank you. You're welcome. Say, is that your roadster out there? Yes, it is. Did I park somewhere I shouldn't have? No, no. It's just that my regular driver never showed up today, so I've got no way to deliver all these telegrams. How would you like to earn some extra cash? You mean you want me to deliver them for you? You've got a car, you're trustworthy, or at least your father thinks you are, so what do you say? I'll pay you 25 cents each time you complete a delivery. And you might even get some tips. Okay, sure. Great, you're hired. Here, deliver this to Seymour out at Blenheim Nursery. Come back when you're done and I'll pay you and give you another telegram to deliver. Great, see you in a little while. Hello, I've got a telegram for Seymour. Just leave it on the desk there. I'd, uh, tip you, but as you can see, my hands are filthy. What are you doing? I'm trying to doll up some of my plants before this guy named Mr. Martin comes in. He's a big cheese at some oil company, and I'm hoping he... Ow! Did that plant just bite you? It did kind of feel that way. I think I'll be going now. Bye! Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Counselor Alice out at Camp Avondale. Keep up the good work. Hi, I've got a telegram for a counselor here named Alice. That's me. Hang on. Oh, go dry up, Jason. <laughs> what a jokester. Anyway, thanks. I'm afraid I don't have any money to tip you. That's okay. Have a swell day. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Mr. Jones at Vash's Dairy. Keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> 